Sorry, he's back, but now as a jack. Here's your look at the new Mezco toys. This is the Bride of Chucky, Burst of Box. Introducing Mezco's Burst the Box, a pop culture infused twist on one of the most beloved classic toys, the Jack in the Box. The Bride of Chucky Burst the Box features Chucky the undisputed king of evil dolls. Approximately 14 inches tall when popped, the Burst the Box is finely detailed tin music box that encases a detailed sculpt and cloth spring character. Now the packaging does show this as being 14 inches tall. Well, you know me, I'm always about double checking this stuff. So I'm gonna take the Ultra Measuretron 5000, take it to the very top of Burst of Box Chucky. According to the tape measure, it's not that far off. 14.2, I could have very well shot the mark slightly. It tells me though it's 14.2, so about 14 inches. They weren't that far off. Centimeters though, something that I can be more than happy to oblige and provide you guys the mob. You're looking at the Burst of Box Chucky being 36, about 36 centimeters. I've clocked this in at 36.1. We'll start this review with having a look at the box and then we'll open it up and we'll have some fun. Uh, the box itself is tin and it's fully finished all the way around. On the underside, you've got Burst of Box, Mezco Toys and their website, mezcotoys.com. It is somewhat ironic not iron. The irony is obviously that the uh, the first burst of box, as far as I know, is Chucky. The somewhat ironic end of that, though, is that they would use Bride of Chucky's Chucky rather than instead the original Chucky, or more rather, Child's Play 2 Chucky, which obviously, as you remember, all the advertising and marketing campaign that they did for it was the Jack in the Box. So remember, sorry, Jack, Chucky's back. Even the poster had Chucky with the, I believe it was scissors, and he was going to cut the Jack, uh, the spring of Jack. So it's funny that they actually went with Bride of Chucky and rather not Child's Play 2. It just seems to me like logically Child's Play 2 would have made much more sense. Either way, if we look around to the sides of the box, as you can see, two sides are of one image. It's Chucky with his knife. And then the other two sides are sort of just a side promotional artwork of Chucky. Both are very badly damaged, as you can see. I feel like this isn't the artwork from Bride of Chucky, and rather actually Seed of Chucky, but I digress. And then on the top, we've got Chucky there featured. Um, I kind of like the splash effect that they've got here with the black outlining, sort of just to jazz it up. Because in all honesty, it's not an overly exciting concept. And maybe I'm just not as d delving deep into this as maybe I would be interest level wise. But obviously a wind up box is a good idea, but something could certainly be lost just in the box itself. At the very least, I'm glad they did kind of a splash effect. What I would have loved to have seen as well is somewhere on this box, the actual poster artwork. It sort of seems like they're just using like promotional images for Chucky. And while that does sound great, I would have loved to seen like, if it's gonna be of that movie, at the very least, do this sort of inked splashed border for like a movie poster, at least very least on one side. So there is the box in a nutshell. Like I said, it's all tin. And then inside of that is Chucky. Now, in order to activate and to get Chucky to 
bounce up, to pop out of the box, you're going to wind this up to a rather familiar tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. I'll show you that in a second. What is, though, is the trigger point is this little red tab. This tab holds not only the door shut, but also Chucky from escaping outward as well. It holds everything inside the door frame here. I will say, though, trying this about a dozen or so times, half, maybe about three quarters of the time, it does work. There are often at times, though, when I have tried this, when I wind this all the way around, that the latch, which normally should pull back, releasing and opening the door here, the latch just sort of clicks, just kind of goes like this, but it doesn't actually completely open the door. You can fix it by pulling this just manually and releasing the door trap, releasing also Chucky as well. But I will tell you though, it doesn't work all the time. So that being said, it's really just a 50-50, uh, whether he will spring out or not. We'll see and certainly let the camera document the events as they unfold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wind this and we're gonna wind this, I guess, clockwise. We're gonna wind it back and as you wind it, you can hear the melody and you keep going keep going da -da -da -da. and this is where it would pop and there you go so you can see it didn't actually detach this didn't move far enough back just do this again Now watch the little red tab. This would be perfect for when it springs out. There we go, it, now it springs out. So unfortunately, it's just trial and error. I don't know, never owning an original uh, Jack in the Box, I don't know if that would be the same case as well where it doesn't always jump out. Um, like I said though, it doesn't always work unfortunately on this, which is a real shame. This whole section of Chucky's body is on a spring even like right up to its head. There's the head sculpt right there. It's not a bad head sculpt, actually. I feel as if it's the same head sculpt we may have gotten from one of the smaller vinyl figures also released from Mezco Toys. There's certainly a, definitely a more tan happening to his face. The eyes are a very bright crystal blue. Really do like the scarring that they put onto the side. I still can't help but feel why we didn't actually get ourselves a Child's Play 2. I mean, it makes sense and yet we get ourselves Bride of Chucky. Something also to note as well is with the actual body, you've got, of course, the good guy's coveralls and the striped shirt underneath that. There is no tatter, there's no tears, there's nothing in the good guy's outfit. It's actually rather jarring. You would expect that the body, the costume, the Child's Play uh, good guy doll outfit would be ripped if obviously his head sculpt shows that as well. Now, to get this guy back in his box, it's simply just a case of kind of accordioning him back in. Just keep pushing the spring in. And it doesn't actually lock in place. If I was to let it go right now, it would spring up once again. So you sort of have to hold it down. And as you're holding it down, pray that you're able to quickly close the door and Chucky's ready to go again. Just because it didn't work that first time, and actually I'm happy it didn't work the first time because I was able to show you guys it doesn't always work, I'm gonna do it again. Luckily the music continues to work, so that's some saving grace. Let's see if it pops out this time. And see again, it doesn't work. I'm gonna try it one more time. See, again, it doesn't work. So I don't know what it is, whether it has to sit on a certain angle. I mean, in theory, it's sitting on a flat surface. It should immediately, it should just immediately pop up, but it doesn't do that. I've tried it with different speeds. I've tried it on a slow speed, a fast speed. And again, it's not working. Let's try tipping it on an angle. That seemed to work the first time around. Maybe let gravity work with the latch. No, it doesn't. See? So it seems to be an ongoing problem. 
I could understand this is something if you've had it for a long period of time, maybe over the years, the latch should eventually start giving way. I don't know if it's the case where the spring just isn't pulling back nearly enough. It doesn't seem to pull far enough back. And again, often at times it relies on you to pull back the tab for this to actually spring out. I thought maybe also it could have been the way that the head has tilted forward. Maybe I have to lean it a little further back so it's not catching on anything. And we'll try it again. By this point, I'm sure this music has become nausea to most people watching this. See, again, it doesn't work. So this is definitely something that it could very well be a case that by person to person who's managed to pick this up for themselves, some, some people's box will be working correctly. Some other burst of boxes won't be working correctly. Uh, certainly if you've managed to pick this one up for yourself, let me know down below if you've had similar problems with your burst of boxes. This is certainly not something I will not continue to play this music out for the rest of this review. Certainly, this is going to be an ongoing problem. Now, this is something that Mezco is delving into uh, fully in. I mean, they're, they seem to be releasing, I think they've got a Jason planned, and they may have also got a Freddy planned. Logically, it would also make sense if they haven't done so already to do a pinhead release of this guy. But the problem is still going to come. If the box isn't opening when you are turning the lever, you've really got yourself a defunct faulty collectible in front and i would hope that this isn't the case across the spectrum i hope that everybody who has been picking these boxes up for themselves have hopefully had no problems at all actually getting these opened these burst of boxes to actually open up sadly for my first review of the burst of box from mesco toys it turns out to be a dud i can't get it to open well most of the time in fact every single time i tried it in this review shy of opening it on its angle i can't seem to get this blasted burst of box to actually open up and that is a problem if this is something that they planned on doing uh, and really planned this out as a full lineup of collectibles you would hope at the very least you wouldn't have problems with the very first one that you picked up now I'm almost reluctant about wanting to get any more of these burst of boxes for fear that really none of them are going to properly work. Certainly the side takeaway point that I also have as well is if you're going to be doing a burst of box for Chucky, why wouldn't they have actually pushed this as a child's play to burst of box and not a bride of Chucky? I know Bride of Chucky seems to be the go-to, but I guess maybe it comes down to legalities. Maybe for licensing, they could only get really the license for Bride of Chucky. Because it seems Bride of Chucky, when you think collectibles for Chucky, it seems to be, or that movie seems to be, the one that we get the most collectibles from. Maybe they just couldn't get the licensing for a Child's Play 2 Burst the Box. Either way, whatever Chucky they decide to put inside, at the very least, I would have hoped that he would have been able to pop out. The surprise sort of gets ruined. When you know that the music is coming down to the end and the jack is going to be popping out of the box, the real startling surprise is when it actually doesn't work at all. If, like I said, if you guys have managed to pick this one up for yourself, the new Burst of Box from Mezco Toys, let me know down below if you've had similar problems with your boxes actually opening up properly. I always like reading your comments, certainly down below. In the meantime, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, reluctantly, maybe after this review, uh, you should be able to find these now. The Burst of Box Bride of Chucky, Chucky, at your local comic book stores and other places that sell collectibles. Today, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we had some bit of a mistake, a faux pas. Oh, baloney, we didn't get this blasted thing to work. But today we were having a look at the new Mezco Toys Burst of Box Bride of Chucky, Chucky. Not bad. Decent enough gimmick, just wish it actually did work. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Mezco Toys reviews, there's a playlist just for Mezco Toys. How about that? Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way. Hopefully not as disappointing as this one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.